Are you seeing errors like this when trying to upload images in WordPress? This seems like a complicated issue, but don't worry. In this video, we'll walk you through how to fix all these issues in just few minutes. I'll show you the best five fixes that work 99% of the time. Let's start with the easiest fix. That is to clear the website's cache. On your site, click Ctrl Shift R to clear the browser cache. If you have caching plugins like W3 Total Cache, just go here, clear the cache, and see if this works. Also, you can go to your hosting provider and clear the server side cache from there as well. My site is hosted on Bluehost, so I'll log in. On the left side, I'll click My Site and choose Performance tab. Then, click Clear All to delete the website cache. In the pop-up, I'll select Clear Everything and it's done. Sometimes the file permissions on your website's FTP may cause image upload issues. To fix this, we'll use a free FTP client called FileZilla to access your site's file and modify the permissions. Just go to the description, click this link, and it will redirect you to this page. Download the file from here. Now add your server address, username, and password here to access your site's files. You can get these details from your web host. Once done, click Quick Connect. At the right side, you will see all your site's folders. So open the public HTML folder and search for WP content folder. Here it is. Let's open it and double click on the uploads folder. Here's where your images usually go. Let's right click on this and select the file permissions option. In this pop-up, we must change the numeric value to this. Also make sure to select this option and select the apply to directories only option. Click OK. Now, FileZilla will take some time to update this depending on the size of the files here. Sometimes, WordPress may not process special characters used in the name. Try renaming your image files without special characters or numbers. For example, for this image, I'll change the name to this. If this doesn't work, your image may be too large to process. To solve this, I'll install and activate this really cool tool called Airlift. Basically, it analyzes your entire website and optimizes images, code, and more without breaking it to get a 90 plus page speed score. If it ever changes anything on your site, then you can easily check it using the visual regression feature. The support team is highly responsive, so you can raise a ticket here if you get a low page speed score. Now, let's move on to the next fix. Sometimes, insufficient memory allocated to PHP files can cause issues with uploading images. We can always increase the PHP memory limits to resolve this error. Don't worry, you just have to put this small code snippet, which I will put down in the description below. For this, you need to access your site cPanel account. There are three ways to do it. First, you can log into your hosting account and access it there. Second, if you have your cPanel credentials, you can directly access it by adding this code to your URL, which will open the cPanel login dashboard. Third, you can just look for an email that you received from your hosting provider when you bought it, because they usually provide a redirect link to the cPanel account with the account details. Or if you have nothing, then just contact their support and they will help you out. My site is hosted on Bluehost, so I will log into my account and click on Advanced Settings. This redirects me to this cPanel interface. I'll scroll down and select this option. I'll go to Public HTML folder and search for wpconfig.php file. Right click on it. At the end, I'll add this code and save it. Similarly, we'll update the .htaccess file as well. Select the Public HTML folder and search for the file. Here it is. Right click and select edit. Add this code to the file and save it. Once done, you can try uploading your images again. If this still doesn't work, your WordPress site may be running on an older PHP version. This should be 7.4 or higher. So at the cPanel dashboard, I'll scroll down and select this option. Tick the box next to your current site, choose the latest PHP version from this drop down, and hit apply. And it should solve your problem. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.